Good morning, everybody. Well, I don't know about you, but uh, we do a lot of brats and burgers in my house, so sometimes it's fun to change things up, do something a little bit different. We love chicken sandwiches, and um, you know, you can have a lot of fun with them. Chicken could be a little bit boring, so um, I've found a way to make, um, you know, spice it up a little bit. My chicken pesto sandwich is one of my all-time favorites, and it's a sandwich that you'd pay big bucks for her out at you know a restaurant save some dough make it at home it's very very easy so the first thing i did is if you have time to marinate your chicken breasts in a little uh, italian dressing fantastic if not you can just actually brush the chicken breasts while you're frying them up in the pan or while they're on the grill the last few minutes of grilling or when you're cooking them in the pan with a little bit of italian dressing you can make your own or just use the bottled type and that's going to give these chicken breasts some great flavor and kind of keep them from drying out. Then I got to have some cheese on my chicken sandwich and because this is you know kind of got an Italian thing going on with the pesto I'm using a sliced up either mozzarella cheese or you could use shredded mozzarella or this happens to be an Italian fontina cheese which melts really really nicely so just a few slices of cheese on there and then I'm going to cover this so it melts a little bit. And mozzarella and fontina both melt really, really well. Okay, so now for the extra special part of this sandwich. It's a pesto mayo, or uh, you know, the gourmet word is pesto aioli, um, which is just a fancy name for um, pesto mayonnaise. And it's super easy to make. And that's one of those things you see a lot of times out at restaurants is some sort of a fancy mayonnaise. Well, it just doesn't get much easier than this. Basically, I'm just taking some, some real mayo, um, and then I'm adding some pesto sauce. Maybe you've made homemade pesto, or you can just pick it up right at the grocery store, and you just basically mix a little bit of the pesto with the mayo, and all of a sudden, you've got this really fancy flavored aioli, which is so easy breezy to make. It's incredible. And you can mix mayonnaise with all sorts of different ingredients to give it a little bit of flavor. Uh, you can do a little lemon juice and fresh chopped basil. If you want more of a southwest feel, you could do some cilantro and fresh lime juice. Uh, sometimes I'll take roasted red peppers and uh, in a food processor, add that with mayo or sun-dried tomato and, uh, you know, do that in a food processor. And then you've got sun-dried tomato mayo. So have fun with your mayo mayos. You can really flavor them up um, in no time at all and take a sandwich to a whole other level. I also am a big fan of serving just burgers, brats, and, and chicken sandwiches on warm toasty bread. That also takes the sandwich to a whole nother level. So in this case, we've got some crusty French bread, brushed it with some olive oil or butter, and then heated it up in the oven. Or if you're doing these sandwiches on the grill, just throw them on the grill. The buns, just to toast them up. A nice generous amount of this pesto mayo on both sides. Slather it on good. I told you, it's looking good, isn't it? And now our chicken is done, and that cheese is all melty and wonderful. And the chicken's got great flavor because we basted it with some Italian dressing. Don't want to lose any of that cheese. We'll get it right back on there. And a little lettuce and tomato, and you've got one fantastic, get the napkins out, chicken sandwich. My pesto chicken sandwich recipe, you can get it on the website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.